Hi everybody, it's Kevin with the Pit again, and it's Halloween time, so that means it's time for haunting and DIY projects that have to do with Halloween. Today I'm going to be building a screen frame for my Atmosphere FX illusion that I do at Halloween. What we're going to do is use a screen that we bought from Amazon or wherever that is made for this illusion and you can use many different things other than this screen. I just bought it because it had the grommets in it and it was specially made for that. It was just easier than going out and buying the fabric and making one. But the frame that I'm going to make to hold the screen is what I'm going to show you today. It's basically going to be custom made to the size of this screen and we're going to make it out of PVC pipe and cost us just a few dollars. So here's what you need. For ease of transporting the materials back uh, from the hardware store, I bought five foot sections of PVC pipe. I could just stick them in my car. I don't need a truck to do that. We need six five foot sections. I got two two foot sections, um, four one inch couplers, and this is one inch PVC by the way, and two um, one inch 90 degree elbows. So we're gonna use all that to make a screen and in order to put it in the ground anywhere you want, um, it'll just slip right over stakes that go into the ground and the stakes will hold it up. We want to do it this way because we have unlevel ground and it will enable us to put the screen on an unlevel surface um, by using the stakes. So here we go. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to lay out our PVC kind of close to the screen so we get a good idea of how exactly we're going to do this and where we're going to make our cuts. At the top of the screen is where your 90 degree elbows will go. Notice I'm not using any glue. You could. I want to be able to take this thing apart for storage. So I'm not going to use the glue. I'm just going to kind of put it together. Try to get these in here kind of tight though, so that it doesn't fall apart, so it's sturdy. The one inch coupler is for the middle of the screen. It's not gonna fall exactly in the middle. You could cut it on both sides and make it fall in the middle. Uh, I don't really see the purpose in that. I'm just gonna make one cut so it fits. So, one inch coupler goes on, next section of five foot goes on, and as you can see we can just mark where our cut is going to go on that side. Next, you got two more couplers. Now the reason we did this way is because these sections come five foot long already cut at the hardware store, and like I said, I transported them in a car. So the screen is actually five and a half feet tall. And rather than, like I said, buying longer sections, I just bought two more couplers and two short sections. We'll extend it down, cut it exactly where it needs to be cut, and it'll fit right over the stake that goes in the ground. So there's the top and the sides, and you can already guess that the bottom just goes together like this. Now I know you're asking yourself, how's it going to attach that bottom with no more couplers? But I have more couplers that I forgot to tell you about. So you will also need these. There are T's, no threading, one inch. We're going to put these tees on each end of this and once we make the cut that will enable this side to connect to that end of the tee and it will leave a hole at the bottom that can slip over the stake. After that is I'm going to mark the pipes where I think they need to be cut. I'm going to start a little long on these marks 
because I want the screen to, to stretch tight and once you cut it, you can't put it back. So I'd rather go long and have to cut it again than to go short and waste the putt. So here we go. We go with that. And again, these are just approximate. We'll cut it down as we need it, but those will be my first two cuts. Okay, and as you can see, um, I just marked it with eyesight, and one mark is definitely longer than the other one. So rather than um, have two odd size, I know I'm just gonna go with the longer mark. So I'm just gonna put these side by side. Cut them down. And let's see where we're at. Now remember, since we didn't glue any of this, we can always adjust as we go. We put it together and it's a little too big, we can always take it back apart and make another cut where necessary. The next thing I want to measure out is the bottom where the T's are. Now this screen is about nine feet long and five and a half feet tall. I'm gonna probably cut somewhere in the neighborhood of six inches off of this. Together that piece is 10 feet long. So I don't wanna go all the way down to nine feet. I wanna go there gradually. Okay, maybe that's more like four inches, but we'll see how this works. Now, we only really have to make one more cut. In order to make this cut equal with the last cut, I'm just gonna use the piece that I cut off and again, I'm just using the other piece as a guide. That looks pretty darn close. Right on the money. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to drill some holes at some specific places on this side of the frame, attach the screen and stretch to see exactly if I've got it long enough or if I need to come a little shorter. So we'll mark a hole down at the bottom, we'll mark a hole at the top, we'll see if that stretches enough lengthwise if it doesn't, we may have to shorten the bottom pieces that I just cut. Um, if, it, if it is perfect, then we'll attach the center and we'll move on down the line. So for now, we're just gonna use zip ties. I'm going to come back and I'm going to cut these zip ties off and paint this frame matte black. But in order to make sure I get the size right, I need to attach to the screen this time. All right, I like that for size. And as you can see, it is translucent. You can see through it. And this is just about the perfect tightness. So keep in mind, we're gonna pull these grommets up and on the uh, bottom as well. So this is just about perfect. I'm gonna cut these off here and spray paint this thing matte black on both sides so that in the dark, 
uh, it'll be very hard to see the, the frame. So what we're going to do now before we paint it is we're actually going to drill some holes into the PVC for the zip ties. And I know you're wondering why we're doing that and not just zip tying around the PVC, which seems like it would be a lot easier. Um, the reason is, is because zip ties can slide. Halloween days or nights can be windy. Anything can happen to where a zip tie will fall and you know, you don't have to go down and fix this thing in the middle of giving out candy. So we're just gonna do it this way. And there's another good reason for it is I can hide the grommets behind the PVC um, if I do it this way, rather than just zip tying to the PVC where the grommets would be exposed and you could see them from the front of the illusion. So we're just gonna do some simple holes. So now that we have this attached at all four corners um, through the holes, we're just gonna pull the middle up, kind of eyeball it here. That's about good. We're gonna attach that one, and then we'll go to the other side. Just right here. And right here. And we're good. Now we're gonna unattach and put this screen away, put some newspaper under here and spray it flat black. All right, so now we're gonna actually just paint this thing black. product as you can see you stand it up not a few leaves off and we're good this is a translucent screen with frame it will be held up by rebar stakes in the ground that this will slip right over and you can actually put it anywhere in the yard um, you can make a base for it to make it freestanding without the stakes. It's pretty simple to do. Just a couple more pieces of PVC to extend the back out, kind of like a soccer goal would look like. And uh, that's it. All right, thanks for tuning in.